Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the George Benson Football Channel. This is the biggest game of Chelsea season so far. It is arguably the most difficult test we would have faced so far against the team that pushed Manchester City towards the title last season. Fell a little bit short, but this year, Arsenal seem to have something more about them. They've bought Declan Rice in. That seems to be fitting like a glove on your bloody hand. They're looking good. And like I said in my previous video, if you didn't see it, I've got a funny feeling there are more gears that Arsenal can reach before we see them at their very best. However, Maurizio Pochettino's Chelsea, we've also turned a corner, many people are saying. And I think this game could define that if we win it, if we lose it. I'm kind of in a position where I'm expecting it at this point because the levels that we've shown compared to the levels that Arsenal have shown show that they are a better and stronger team than us right now. Before we do start talking about my Chelsea lineup, I want to say a big thank you to Paramatch UK for sponsoring today's video. Football is now well and truly back underway in the Premier League and across the UK. And our friends at Paramatch UK are offering £40 in free bets. That's right, over at Paramatch UK, all you gotta do is open a new account. This is for new customers only. Place a £10 bet on any footballing market with odds of even or above within the first seven days of you joining Paramatch Online and you guys will get yourselves £40 of free bets. Full terms and conditions apply, of course, with all the links that you need to get started in the description down below. Thank you very much to Paramatch again. Let's get back into the video. And we are back. Chelsea and Arsenal, it's a rivalry that goes back years. It's not just the London derby. It is a rivalry where Arsenal had the bragging rights about 20 years ago. They would have said that London is red. Chelsea since then, we've come in, Roman Abramovich era, that's beyond us. We're now in the Todd Bowley era, and we are looking to take back what we believe is ours, the bragging rights of the capital city of England. And we go into this game, having played really well in recent weeks, the game against Burnley gave me some serious hope for what we can do this season. Granted, Burnley had been conceding a lot of goals. They didn't necessarily play the way that we've seen Chelsea struggle. And it was exactly the same in the previous game too. The last two games that Chelsea have played, we've been playing against teams that are trying to play. And that is something that I think Chelsea benefit from. So when you look at Arsenal and what they do and the way that they play, we also mentioned this in the last video, but Arsenal aren't just going to sit back and let Chelsea go at them. They have a very specific way of playing that they are showing now, even against the bigger and better teams, that they're not going to budge from. They're confident in what they do, the way that they press, the players and the quality that they have. It's always congruent, performance after performance right now from Mikel Arteta's side. And it's why they're sitting pretty at the top of the Premier League table. Chelsea, we have got some good news. I'm doing this video before the Pochettino press conference, because as I said to you guys before, I've got a busy weekend this weekend. We're going to be enjoying the game tomorrow night. But Pochettino, in this press conference, we're going to get a lot of information. Is Reese James going to be fit enough and ready to start? It's a high-octane match. We're going to be up against one of the strongest teams in the league, blistering pace. They're very smart and intelligent with the way they build up. And is Reese James going to be ready for it? If he is then I think Chelsea have got a better chance. He's the captain. Gallagher's been doing a brilliant job as the captain. You're going to see my lineup in a moment. But Reese being back, if he's fit, if he's ready, which the Instagram signs are kind of telling us that he is. Cole Palmer was also doing training as well. There was a lot of questions about, is Palmer going to be ready? Are some of the players that have been looking to come back going to be ready? Chukwemeka isn't ready. Trevor Chalaber isn't ready but he's also set to leave the club in January. So the chances are Pochettino is starting now to get the opportunity to be able to pick from his squad, not just pick players that, well, because he's injured and he's injured and you've got to fill in here, you've got to fill in there. We could see a very strong Chelsea lineup and we're going to go into it now. The goalkeeper is Robert Sanchez. I mentioned in the previous video Chelsea need to be careful here with Sanchez's distribution. The way that Arsenal press, there are layers behind it. It's not just like a lot of the teams in the Premier League who all either press together or they sit back. With Arsenal, there are different levels of the field that we need to bypass. And I think with Sanchez, 
the distribution and how quickly we can get the ball into the midfield is going to be key for Chelsea in this game. So he's my number one. We move into a back four. Now, Benoit Badia-Shiel, we're also going to find out from Poch if he's going to be ready. But regardless of if he's ready or not, I wouldn't go changing things for a game of this magnitude. This sassy is very quickly becoming one of the first names I'm putting in my team. I think I've maybe not given him as much credit in some of the match reviews over the last couple of games, but the sassy is there, and we're going with the idea that Reese James is fit enough to start. So Reese at right back, playing a back four. Reese at right back, Axel de Sassi, Thiago Silva, and Levi Colwell at left back. This goes to show some of the faith that I've gained in recent weeks about Maurizio Pochettino. I didn't want to see Colwell at left back. But at the same time, you look at Cucurella's performances and he seemingly is better at right back. But Reese James is the captain of the club and he's one of the best right backs in the world when he's fit and healthy and ready to play. So we're going to keep Colwell there. And then Ian Matson. you've got questions to ask about him. Chelsea have just recently activated a clause to keep him at the club until June 2025. Apparently, as a result of interest from Barcelona. So Pochettino and Chelsea want to keep Ian Matson, but I just don't see Poch changing things to that magnitude to just give him a start at left back where we've not seen him at all so far in the Pochettino era. He's been playing as more of an advanced forward on the wing when Chelsea are looking to see a game out or get a goal late on, he's coming on because he's good in that final third. So I'm going to keep... Levi Colwell at left back for this game. With the lineup that we've got here, I've lined it up as a 4 3 3 with a midfield of Enzo, Caicedo, and Connor Gallagher, a player that I think at this point in time is undroppable for Chelsea. And I think obviously that will change when we see Mudrick, not Mudrick, and Kunku, sorry, come back into the fold because then I think the, Chel the Chelsea shape will organically change towards a more 4 2 3 1. We've known that the enzo Caicedo partnership was something that Pochettino wanted as a Chelsea pivot. And until Nkunku is there, we're getting dynamic runs. We're getting dynamic movement. I think Gallagher is doing so much of the dogged, dirty work right now that we are seeing the qualities that both Enzo and Caicedo uniquely have. Caicedo's making the big crunch in tackles. That's what we got him from Brighton to do. That gives then Enzo the second pass from Caicedo winning the ball to be able to distribute, to be able to get forward with the industry and the legs of Conor Gallagher pushing Chelsea forward. That then leads us into a front three of Raheem Sterling on the left, Cole Palmer on the right if he's fit, and Nicholas Jackson through the middle. I really like this Chelsea front three. And again, I know that it's Arsenal. Total different kettle of fish to what we saw against Burnley. It's going to be a real test this at Stamford Bridge. But what I love about this front three is the balance that it brings. Jackson is more than willing to come back, do the dirty work. Sterling, when he's got that explosive pace, he's almost unplayable. He was absolutely phenomenal in the game against Burnley. And I think if he can continue in this vein, if Chelsea can get him the ball... If we can bypass that initial Arsenal press, then there will be moments and space that Sterling can hurt them. And as much as we've seen Mudrik in the international break scoring for Ukraine, looking sharp, looking good, I wouldn't change what worked in that game against Burnley. So if Cole Palmer is fit, Cole is over on the right-hand side. You've then got players like Noni Madwake, who's also been in good form, Mudrik to come off the bench to change things for Chelsea if we're chasing the game, if it's not working, if Arsenal are pressing so well that we can't find Sterling, we can't find the pass to Jackson or Cole Palmer, then Chelsea have got players coming into fitness, coming into form, who have got the ability to change this game. When it comes to what I actually think is going to happen, this is such a difficult one to predict because I'm trying to remain realistic. I'm trying not to get so sucked in to the Fulham win, the Brighton Cup win, the Burnley away win, and say Chelsea are back. I certainly think we've turned a corner, but you can always turn back. And I wouldn't say, unless we absolutely get blown away by Arsenal at Stamford Bridge, which I don't think is going to happen, fans are going to be up for it, players are coming back from injury, and there is a buzz around Chelsea again. If we fail to lose 
then I think this is a big success. Arsenal have won six, drawn two, haven't lost a game yet all season. And as much as I want to say, I'm going to stick a bet on 3-1 to Chelsea, I think. But I do see this game finishing 2-2. I think Chelsea will get chances. We're seemingly a bit more clinical now in front of goal. I think Sterling will score and I think Nicholas Jackson will also score. But I just can't see Arsenal not scoring. And as much as we've also looked good defensively as a unit, we're working better now as a team. I think this would be too soon for me to realistically say, yeah, Chelsea are going to go and inflict the first defeat of the season on Arsenal in this game tomorrow night. I'm absolutely buzzing for this. I'm nervous. I'm nervous because I'm trying to keep inside of me that excitement a little bit because this is a real test. Fulham away, Burnley away. Chelsea should be winning those games regardless of what the last 18 months have been like, regardless of who's fit, who isn't. We should be winning that. We're doing what we should be. Arsenal at home, the way they've been, the way they're growing, this is massive. This is the challenge of all challenges right now in the Premier League. Even City have lost back-to-back -back bloody games. This is the team to beat. And I think we can do it as long as we play a perfect match. But this is Chelsea. Who knows what's going to happen? Let me know your team in the comments down below. Let me know your score predictions for this game in the comments down below. And I will be here on Sunday for six things we learn from Chelsea versus Arsenal. Come on, you Blues.